This video is powered by CardMarket.com. What's cracking, YouTube? Jobber here, and I have before you a ton of random booster packs that I had here on my shelf that are time to be opened up. I actually found these in uh, one of those little cheap bins they had over at Target. They had one of each, and they're $2.99 a piece, so I figured I'd get those. I've been sitting there forever. And then I had a, uh, had a bunch of these. And we had the legendary Duelist. We basically have like a, the Joey there. And it's just, just a ton of like random booster packs. And I was just, instead of him just sitting there just collecting dust, you know, why don't we pop these things open and see if there's any amazing cards inside of them. And if you guys enjoy this video, please remember to give this video a like, subscribe bell, and follow me on Instagram. Also, if this video gets 800 likes, I'll announce our winner in the comments of the next video, and you will receive a free booster box of the newest set. So remember, drop a comment down below and follow me on Instagram. If you don't have an Instagram, you should probably make one. If you, if you, definitely if you win, a nice easy way for me to be able to send you uh, your free booster box get your information and all that other good stuff and be safe about it all right without any further ado let's get cracking all right so uh, i guess we'll just save these these old school booster packs for the very end and we shall pop these open i don't know if i've if I actually, I mean, I opened some, but I didn't open very much of these. So this is actually pretty interesting. Five cards per pack. So we're getting a lot of foils here. We get the Mecha Phantom Beast, Draco Sack, a Magic Cylinder, Super Rare. Spell Absorption, that's cool. Oh, that's cool, Beast, the Jackal. Oh, nice, okay, so it looks like every pack of these, it's been, it has been a while since I've opened these. And I get a secret rare there. It's always kind of cool when you open up uh, sets like this that are guaranteed foils so when you had a, a bad run of luck. <laughs> it's like a, a good little boost. That's why I've always enjoyed opening uh, sets like Ledgery Collections or Mega Packs and you're just basically gu guaranteed. I love that rare, super secret, and ultra rare. It's always amazing. Secret rares are just gorgeous. I mean, look how beautiful this is. Awesome stuff. Mecha Phantom Beast Draco Sack, always have a soft spot for that card. Playing a Mecha Phantom Beast deck way back in the day. I basically have tried <laughs> so many different variants of, of decks. Try to play a competitive. Oh my gosh, this thing is really freaking cool. I've done a different variants of uh, semi-competitive decks or doing my own twist to them. So it's always, it's always fun dinkering with cards and trying them out with your friends, seeing what works. Sometimes, I mean, you feel like you're a genius and other times you're like, oh my gosh. And like, it looked absolutely amazing on paper, but then otherwise you're just like, oh, uh, yeah. After you play test, you're like, this is terrible. <laughs> this doesn't work at all. But yeah, I was actually pretty excited. I was find these, uh, oh, I mean, they're like an old style. They're a repack, so they are reprinted versions of those are of the original sets, but it was just kind of cool having them be in there. It was just one of each, random. I don't, I don't know why they were, uh, <laughs> or what vendor decided to go and fill those up in there. But yeah, so that they were in there, and figured I'd pick those all up for sure. I mean, three dollars a pack can't really go wrong there. And then just be able, just the, the idea of opening up uh, and seeing those old school cards again. It's always been a an enjoyment of mine since I've been playing the game since the game has come out. That's always been fun. Oh. That's a, that's a <laughs> that, that was a different booster pack there. I still, still thought we were opening the same stuff there. And Cyber Dark Cannon was our rare. And so we, yeah, we, I think we're just going to go and we'll try to do these more in order. I'll keep on opening these so I don't get myself all messed up there. Yeah, I remember uh, when I went over at my local card shop way back when the game first dropped. I remember looking, they had like a little binder for sale. I don't know if it was one of the guys that worked there or something, but they had cards inside of it. I remember reading Raigeki for the first time. I thought they were like, there's no way a card like this actually exists. It's just totally one side. It destroys all your opponent's monsters. And back then, I mean, that was one of the most powerful, probably the most powerful card, honestly. I mean, they had... They obviously had Monster Reborn and Dark Hole, but I mean, Raigeki was just so, so one-sided. That was kind of like when uh, Harpy's Feather Duster first came out. Rode my bicycle down there, bought that game immediately. <laughs> Go get that game promo. Harpy's Feather Duster. Having Raigeki and Harpy's Feather Duster is just absolutely crazy. Two 
two very powerful. I, I think if I'm right, that game that had Harpy's Feather Restore didn't it have Sinister Serpent in there as well. Sinister Serpent was another card that uh, that was just kind of like a staple. Build a combo with uh, <coughs> uh, Crystal Charity was a big one. I, I, you target it with a uh, Painful Choice. You'd be able to send all your. If you're doing it in like a zombies, I would always target it. They would always add it to your hand, obviously. Then you send all your all your other zombies to the graveyard, so you can try to bring them bring them back later with all the reborning cards you had back then. Call the Haunted Premature Barrel, Monster Reborn, Triple Book of Life. I mean, everything under the sun. Really, really cool. Those good old days. I mean, now, you know, you see a lot of decks like Orcus and the, the Orcus engine, I've, oh, I've just been really intrigued by it. I really like how that, how uh, diverse it is and how many different decks are able to use that Orcus engine. I mean, my one fr my friend was play testing and he was playing Pendulum Orcus. I mean, it's really cool. It's just a really strong, just a really strong engine. Another beautiful secret rare. This kind of reminds me of the Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon. <laughs> That's cool. That's really cool with the tanks. I think one of my all-time favorite decks to play was uh, was Zombie. I really like that. I really like Mizuki, uh, Zombie Master. That was always really cool. I just like decks that have a lot of ability to be able to like reborn from the graveyard. So I guess that's why I've always liked I liked like Book of Life and things like that. And but yeah, Mizuki. Then you do uh, Barrel from Different Dimension, putting the Mizukis back into your graveyard after you've banished them and just abuse them all over again. That stuff is just absolutely insane. Oh, nice. That is awesome. I like the, the Witchcrafter cards. Uh, that is another deck I, I can see in the near future with a, just a little bit more support that that, that set will, uh, I mean, the, that type of deck will take off. Archetype, I guess you would like to call it. But yeah, that's always exciting. <laughs> Super exciting when you pull the, the cover card of any set. That is awesome. You're like, oh gosh, that, look, that card looks familiar. Oh yeah, it's because every single booster pack has that picture on it. <laughs> ah, Hidden Armory. That's a cool one. So the top card of your deck to the graveyard, add one equipment spell card from your deck to your hand. That was a that was one that my friends and I back in the day were uh, trying out off and on all kinds of different decks. <laughs> That's what's fun when you and your friends are just going back and forth. We just have these pile of cards. We call them the thinking cards. We'd try them out. Just rotate them into the deck as you uh, as you play along. You're like, okay, well, this would work better. You know what? This card would be better here. <laughs> Eventually it works out. We've had a lot of success by doing that. Going from, uh, you know, do testing like that for even just like locals doing well, winning regionals and all the way to topping YCSs. So it works. It's a fun way, creative way to uh, try to try decks out, just play test some games. And then it's like, you know what? I'm just not really feeling this or I'm not, not really feeling that. Maybe this car would have worked better in the side deck. And then be able to go back and forth with your friend, be able to like bounce ideas off of them. Like, you know, if I would have activated this at this point, would this have been the best play? Things like that, it's always fun. Okay, so I think that's it. Actually, that was really insane. We pulled actually really, really well, especially getting, uh, <laughs> getting the cover card itself right there. Yeah, that was a really good one. Nice. There was a ton of booster packs there too. <laughs> Gosh, so many secret rares that we have. All right, so now we're gonna move over to the legendary duelist here. We have the Joey booster pack. These are also five card booster packs. I'm glad that I ended up having a lot of booster packs here. And then we'll end our grand finale with the, I don't, it's not the first five sets, but close enough. I'm a little bit out of order. <laughs> no foil in there. We got the Water Dragon, the Sphere Karibo. Comes to Ultra Rare as well. It's also very beautiful. Oh my gosh. 
that is a gorgeous looking card. That's kind of, that kind of art on there kind of, it really reminds me of like the old school tournament pack card, like TP1, TP2, that art they were using. I like that. Blast from the past right there, for me at least. Very cool. Oh, yeah, super rare, cool. The Super Verkulroid Mobile Base. Oh my gosh. Looks like a frick, yeah, it looks like a, like a I want to say like a Transformer, almost reminds me of like Optimus Prime. But also like Gundam, but more Transformer-ish. <laughs> That's cool. Back to these, uh, these, the, oh, oh. Yeah, so I, I am getting that kind of vibe with these with these cards being kind of old school. Because that's like Fortress Whale right there. It literally is Fortress Whale. That's awesome. Wow. How cool. I'm going to sleeve this one up definitely. I mean, being, being a, an ultra rare. Our hyper matte sleeves. Donated to the channel. That is cool. I, yeah. Same stats and everything. Gosh, that is a really beautiful looking card, guys. <laughs> I really, really like that. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're talking talking about uh, events and whatnot. That's actually this this mat right here when I when I topped the uh, YCS in Rhode Island. Obviously, you know, being my first premier event top, you hang on to those mats, you keep those, <laughs> and I will be I will be playing at the YCS over in Texas. I believe it's in Dallas. So if you guys are going to be there, you guys should show up. If you have any uh, cool. Uh, collections and stuff like that you guys would like to sh showcase off onto the channel let me know I'd love to record it by bringing my camera along so that would be a lot of fun obviously the ultimate goal is try to find a, a place where it's quiet there is a nice little Konami section over there where you can go over there and do the do your recording I'm really happy that they are they are working with youtubers and stuff to be able to do that nice little bordered off area yeah so that would be awesome. Or if you guys have a, oh, another foil here, if you guys have a cool deck profile and you know, you're doing like, you know, you don't have to be doing fantastic in the tournament, it's doing pretty well, X2 or something like that. And you're playing something a little bit unique. Let me know and I'd love to do a deck profile on it. You know, even if you don't top, just did okay. X3, something like that, you know, after day two, if you date, I mean, if you, if you just day two, I mean, day two in with uh, an off the wall deck, I think that's a, I think it's really impressive. I like that stuff. I give people like you props. Cause I too always play those weird off the wall. Oh, Reddish Black Dragon, cool. I play those off the wall control decks and whatnot, you know? Kind of going against the gray and the uphill battle. I like it, I think it's fun. Definitely is a challenge. Not saying that the, if you're playing a meta deck, it's not a challenge. Cause obviously, I mean, if you're playing something, we'll say Orca since that's really popular right now. Nice, the Cyber Darkness Dragon, that's cool. Uh, when you're playing against a bunch of mirror matches and stuff like that, oh my goodness, I couldn't imagine playing Orcus versus Orcus round after round. Man, that would, you'd, their brains must be like a, <laughs> a, feel like a baked potato at the end of the day. Basically, oh, it's almost like playing chess, trying to just outplay your opponent. But then I guess on the other hand, you know, knowing what they're going to be playing, their combos and stuff like that, maybe it makes it a little bit easier. Just be sure that you don't make the, just don't misplay. So they both have their pros and cons as I was going back and forth about that. All right, so for our last Joey pack here. Oh, Gear Freed, the Red Eyes, Iron Knight. Wow, I wanna be honest here. This is the first time I've ever seen this card and it's really cool. Wow. That is awesome. What do we uh what do we have for an effect? Once per turn, if you need to play an equip equipment cards to this card, you can destroy those equipment cards and destroy one spell or trap card your opponent controls. Once per turn, you can send one of an equipment spell card you control that is equipped to this card to the graveyard, then target one level seven or lower red eyes monster in your graveyard and special summon it. That is actually a really good card. Wow. This card is amazing. <laughs> That's cool. Those are our, uh, our hard pack pulls. And then here we go, guys. 
Got some classic booster packs here. We're just gonna go right here, just, just how they were laying. Open up some Metal Raiders. We got a baby dragon here. Good old mem memories. The Butcher. Soul release, that card was seen play. Oh, nice! Our first booster pack, we ended up pulling a foil. Foil Karibo. Uh, I, I actually have a little story with this one. There was a, I don't think there was this YCS, this was the SJC back in the day and uh, over in the last round on the bubble and those tournaments, they cut to top eight. This guy, he mega morphed his monster, attacked, tried to attack over the guys. I want to say it was a spirit reaper in attack position and he Kariboed him and ends up winning that game because of, because uh, I think that was the last turn. They were in time, they were in turns, yeah. That was the last turn, <laughs> he won because of that. Absolutely crazy. It's my most memorable moment, him side decking, side decking in Karibos. You know, talking about an optimal time to, to use it. All right, so we're over to our Dark Crisis booster pack. We already pull a foil there. Nice, it's actually a good, really good common. Drag down to the grave. You activate this, you both you and your opponent look at each other's hands and discard one card to the graveyard. That's really good because you just kind of like set your hand up so you'd only have Dark World monsters. And, you, and this is the, basically this is the main reason of this card's use was in a, it was in Dark World. So you'd be able to get like a snow effect, Silva, gold, Grapha, so on and so forth. Very cool. The Great Manju. And we have the Invasion of Chaos booster pack. This is a really iconic set. You get Dark Magician of Chaos and a Chaos Emperor Dragon, Black Luster Soldier. I mean, probably one of the most uh, game-defining sets that were ever created. Really, really uh, set things off. There's some, and a lot of these cards were played, like Stumbling was a card that people played in decks. Stealth Bird was a card they ran. Ryokuki was a card they ran in Zombies. I mean, this is a lot of cards in the set that were uh, that were just ran in just different side decks and main decks and stuff. I mean, it was just a, a very, very useful set for the card game at that time and, and moving forward. It's crazy. Feral Servant here. Thousand Eyes Restrict. Still seeing play with instant being an instant fusion target. Jinzo, not so much, but Jinzo is still all, obviously a fan favorite. One of my personal favorite, if not my favorite, uh, tribute monster. And, oh, wow. And we end up pulling the Legendary Fisherman Ultra Rare. Wow, that is awesome. So a super and an ultra so far to these uh, random booster packs that we are able to pick up from Target. How cool. And actually, I end up getting a magic drain out of it. That was a card that I ran in old school. Uh, my anti-meta decks build as lower advantage when they try to like activate a card like Monster Reborn. They would have to discard a spell card from their hand to have Monster Reborn resolve, or it would just be negated. So, very, very, very good card. I actually won a game because of my my opponent attacked and then in damage step activated Forbidden Lands to my monster, and I was able to magic drain it. And he had uh, he had no cards in his hand, so. <laughs> His monster crashed into mine and he took some life points and basically ended up losing because of that. So we're over in Magic Ruler now. It's called Spell Ruler in this one. It's a reprinted version. They did that because of uh, the card game Magic the Gathering. So, makes sense. They want to butt heads. The Hero Shadow Scout. Very cool. And then moving over to the very first Yu Gi Oh! base set that was ever created The Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. Obviously, it has Red Eyes Black Dragon. Blue Eyes White Dragon, Dark Magician, and then the Unstoppable Exodia. So that's always a cool one. Beast Fangs. Oh, Final Flame. Cool. Wow, I actually pulled quite a few uh, different spell cards. Normally, when you open these, <laughs> wow, you would just pull all uh, normal. So pulling uh, four spell cards in one of these booster packs, it's actually pretty crazy. And yeah, wow. Overall, we pulled really really insane so we got all these beautiful seekers i don't know how many packs there were so three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four seekers so basically an entire booster box there and then we ended up opening some j random joey packs that we had and we we pulled pretty well I don't know how many packs there were there in total, but we ended up pulling, getting five foils out of it, two of them being ultra rare. This card is actually pretty insane. And we ended up pulling the New Age Fortress Whale. Same stats and everything, really cool. That is beautiful. And then out of our OG booster packs, pull a Kribo and the Legendary Fisherman. That is awesome. 
Well, thank you guys so much for watching. And again, if this video gets 800 likes, I'll be announcing the winner in the comments of the next video for a free booster box of the most recent set. So drop a comment down below so I can grab your username, obviously. Follow me on Instagram. There's a link in the description down below for that. So uh, when, I, when you can claim your prize, you can message me on there your address. Nice, safe way to do that. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. Jobber here is signing out.